Let's insert the doors of the ground floor. We're going to switch this to realistic display mode. Show four viewports and turn the layer where the ground floor is on. Now we can run the door command and we can see some insert options. First we're going to choose one door style. Door styles determine the features of doors such as the opening type, the profile or the number of leaves they have and we will choose the hinged one. We can now choose a profile. There are a list of sizes available for this style but we can always select a different one. So we're going to select this icon to measure the width of that door and select the horizontal alignment to snap it exactly to the end of the wall. So now just by dragging the mouse cursor to one side of the wall or another we can determine how this door will open. We can see now that the door has generated the opening in the wall and this will always happen as long as the door detects the wall baseline. If we move or copy the door from one wall to another, the door just detects where the nearest wall is and generates the opening on it. We can now just change the dimensions of this door from the properties panel. We can specify some width and maybe set a round number and finally move it to the right position moving the door here. If we move a, a door from one place to another that doesn't detect any wall the door will just float in the model space having the option to rotate it freely but as long as it detects a wall it generates the opening on it. We can also change the door opening site enabling its control points. So we can see there is a control point next to the door leaf and just by dragging it from one side to another of the wall we will determine the door opening site. Also we can see that the door has a 2D representation and a model representation. We can change that from the door properties by changing the max aperture and aperture values. So if we set a different value for the max aperture we will see in 2D how much the door can open. If we do the same for the aperture value we will see the leaf aperture in 3D. We'll set this back to 50% and just insert the rest of door leaves. So we will just copy this one all over the ground floor. Finally, I need to adjust door dimensions. an opening site In case of this door, we can see that it has detected the wrong wall. We're going to measure its distance, its width, and move it in the right place. We can see that there is this 
gap generated in the wall we can see if we can fix it just by moving the the door I'm afraid this is difficult to to fix if we want to have the door in the right position we will leave it like this otherwise we should explode the door losing its parametric properties and generating an opening inside the wall through a boolean operation I can see there is still one door missing here and we will use the mirror command for it Now, we can see that this door frame doesn't have the same size as the one from the picture so we are going to edit the door styles for changing that we can just open the door styles dialog doing right click on this icon that will show the full list of door styles or we can just select the object we want to edit here under the more button choose the style properties or from the tools toolbar do right click on this icon now we can select the frame component and from the geometry tab and check this option and set a different value like 0, 5 now we just need to select all these doors and change the alignment to exterior 